how do you make reads this year with all of the possible defensive options that people have at their disposal? Like, there's so many more zone coverages. Is the way you make reads after the snap different? Like, what do you look for that you never had to look for before? Yeah, I mean, this is this was a great question, actually, last week we talked a little bit about as well. Um, it's a really good question. Um, I think that you really want to identify, I, I know it's a post-snap question, but, like, you want to make sure that your pre-snap read is on point. And, like, because if your pre-snap read isn't on point, then you're already behind going into post-snap. Right. So, like, that's why I would say make sure you... Yeah, you still need to have a hypothesis going into it to, to consider, like, okay, it's probably... It's one of these two things. Right. Like, if it looks like cover two... Like, so say you are say you go to cover two, right? Yep. Like, I got to right now be like, okay, it's probably cover two. Now, the question of post-snap, is it a hard flat, soft flat, yes. squat, cloud? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got to think about that. You know, if I'm going to put Walford on a flat, like, I got to look and see what B's going to do. Okay, he is going to drop. Or, yep. or no, he didn't drop. Now I got to get rid of that guy in my mind and maybe throw to B. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I, I think it's a great point. Like, I think a lot of it is is reactionary now. Like, you, you there's, gone are the days of, like, you have a one pre-snap read and then you know where to go with the ball. Right. Like, it it's just it's how it is now because the game is so adaptive of based on the adjustments you can make that it's really hard to make a pre-snap read and that's the only thing you need to know like there's there's plays built in the game that I'm seeing more and more people use like cover 4 show 2 right, right? like and you're like oh it's cover 2 but then it's but there's it's, it's really cover 4 but they're showing you pre-snap read that is cover 2 uh and, you know that's built in there as the, like built in to to give the game more more depth um you know i, I would say a great start is get your pre-snap read down. Mm-hmm. Determine man or zone, first thing. Do I think it's man or I think it's zone? Yep. Next thing, is it cover four, cover three, or cover two? Yep. Or is it a cover zero, like all out blitz? So that's you get to there. Then I would try to identify, okay, when when my opponent was coming out after, after we picked our play, you want to key in on a couple things, especially at high-level Madden. Don't snap the ball here. You want to key in on something like this. Snap, we pick our play, uh-oh, and then I swing a guy out. Did you, did you see Left. that? Yeah. Okay, it, you recognize, you see where like someone's moving somebody. That should that should give you a lot of information about what they're doing. So, for example, if I were to do this, I'm setting my play up, I'm doing this, right? And then all of a sudden, you see this set up here. You then see this defender here. Your opponent takes this user and he brings him over here. What would that tell you? Well, what would you think that would tell you that I'm doing? If I'm bringing my user defender over here, what do you think that would be telling you? With this setup, with this alignment, look where the other defenders on the field are. This is a strategy, They're pre-snap back. strategy. So, like, you're going to play across the middle with that zone? Let me show you. Let me just give you this look. What, yeah. So, if I, think think of it from this lens. And, and, and you probably do it while you're playing, and you probably don't even notice you do it, right? Right. So, if I were just in this formation, I'm like, okay, I'm going to send the hottest fire cheddar blitz of 2016 right. ever, Right. Well, then what's going to happen? What's behind it? All right? Like, what's behind that? Right. Nothing. Okay, I better go over there and protect it. We right. naturally do that right. when we're playing. In, so- in, in, like, right here, like, I don't even know what you're in. You don't even know what I'm in. But, right. like, right now, just hold the buttons. Like, you're going to look for the drag to the tight end. Yep. Because you can't worry about a corner. Can't worry about a corner. You can't worry about a corner. Can't get there. Even though most people are going to throw corner routes. Like, this is a very popular corner route formation. The, the way the defense is set up right now is you got to worry about a drag and then you got to worry about the crossing route. You can't worry about anything else with your user guy right here. Just the way the formation is like now if it was different and you clicked on to like, you know, him, then maybe you can think about a corner or I can a think scene. about a corner, yeah. Like but based on who your user yeah. in the field, yeah. Before the point. snap like right now it'd be like Walford drag and then I would look for like the cross route. I know I obviously called like that that play, but like I'm just thinking like that's what you have to do. And then you got to like trail there, and then you got a user. Yeah. 